so boycott Walmart is trending and ESPN just canceled an Apex Legends tournament because apparently people still think that video games contribute to mass shootings and this is a major issue that we need to discuss right now. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the world and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick note, there is a 99.9% .9 chance that YouTube has demonetized this video because we're talking about violence, video games, mass shootings. So if you like what I do here at this channel video, visit my website, www.therewiredsoul.com. Grab one of my books or become a patron, whatever, whatever you think is gonna help you out to help support the channel. I like to give things in return for your support, but YouTube has just been on this rampage of like demonetizing everybody. Anyways, let's discuss. So this is something I've had a lot of requests about to discuss, you know, the, the ridiculous debate about are video games contributing to gun violence and mass shootings and everything like that. And those of you who don't know me, I'm really big on mental health. I love learning more about psychology and everything like that. So a little bit more about me that a lot of people don't know because I don't talk about it that much. Not only have I been a gamer my whole life, I'm 34 now, I started playing when I was about five on the original Nintendo, but I was also in professional esports for many years, all right? The game that I was involved with was Counter-Strike. I was a professional writer. I used to travel all over, uh, all over the world. I went to Sweden and France and Spain. I also coached one of the top teams in the world at the time, all right? So I've been very involved in video games, specifically first person shooters as well. So this is a topic that I'm very passionate about, especially because my son, he has been playing video games since a young age as well. And I'm so glad that this is something that we get to do together now. All right, but anyways, you saw like Philip DeFranco covered this, a lot of people covered this. When the recent mass shootings in El Paso, as well as in Dayton just happened, a lot of people, this is typically a right side talking point where they bring up video games and mass shootings, which is absolutely ridiculous. Whenever this happens, study after study and statistic after statistic comes out showing that is there is no correlation. There's especially no causation, but there's definitely no correlation between playing video games and mass shootings. Like those things are just not anything, right? In the 90s, it was that darn hip hop music, right? In the 80s, what was it like death metal and stuff like that? You know what I mean? Like, this is an ongoing issue that we've had as a society. And I think it's because the people up top don't really want to look at the real issues, right? They want to push it and focus on everything else rather than looking at common sense gun laws. They want to say, oh no, it's the, the, the violent video games. But anyways, Boycott Walmart was trending today because they have decided to take down quote unquote violent video game um, promotions and ads and like, you know, like cardboard cutouts and things like that. All right. And one of the reasons people have a major issue with this is because Walmart sells guns. All right. And this is an issue. Okay. Like just taking those things down, like I, I feel like a lot of companies and things like that, they do it because. Uh, it's more of a PR move, you know what I mean? And in a minute, I'm gonna talk about science and statistics and why doing things like that actually hurts like the real cause, you know what I mean? But they, they took these things down. And like, here's the thing that we need to discuss about Walmart. Walmart is not a great company, all right? Yes, Walmart has those low, low prices, all right? But they're not a great company, okay? Like, this is something that a lot of people have been talking about is how Walmart, pays their employees so little that they need government assistance. Meanwhile, the Waltons are like the one of the richest families in the entire world, okay? So don't even for one minute, no matter what kind of PR moves they use, and the fact that they're still selling guns, that they're actually these good people, all right? Like, it's absolutely ridiculous, okay? And here's, here's my personal opinion, okay? And a lot of you aren't gonna like hearing it, but let's do this, let's give some tough love. 
all right? Like, when I see Boycott Walmart, or even when John Oliver did his episode on Amazon and, you know, right before Prime Day and the working conditions in the warehouses, like, everybody can virtue signal all they want of Boycott, boycott Walmart, Boycott Amazon. But here's the thing, here's the reality that a lot of you won't admit publicly, but I know this about you because I know this about human nature, your morals and saving money, like saving money kind of goes like that. And unfortunately, because of the shady things that places like Walmart and Amazon do, they're able to have those low prices. But this is something just about cancel culture and internet mob mentality. Everybody on Twitter can use the hashtag boycott Walmart. I was telling my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, I said, I almost guarantee there's at least one person out there hopping on the boycott Walmart hashtag bandwagon who's currently in a Walmart while they're tweeting that hashtag out. You know what I mean? Because on the internet, you can virtue signal all you want. Like nobody's gonna track down like John Smith 895 underscore TV. You know what I mean? Like nobody's gonna find that person and see if they've actually stopped going to Walmart. So that's just like one of my own little gripes that I have. But anyways, ESPN was apparently going to host an Apex Legends tournament. I'm a fan of Apex Legends. Um, uh, my son and I, we play a lot of Fortnite together, Apex Legends, pretty cool. I haven't played in a little while. But anyways, they did the same thing. They decided not to broadcast this tournament. I believe ABC was gonna do it too, but in light of the mass shootings, all right? Now, let's talk about why this is just absolutely ridiculous, it's fundamentally wrong, and it's not helping us get any closer to the solutions, all right? I'm going to use climate change as the example, all right? I am absolutely amazed that we're in 2019 and people still do not respect scientific evidence. That blows my mind on a daily basis. So I remember a couple years ago, I think it was uh, like Bill Nye, like Bill Nye was debating climate change with somebody from the right like a couple years ago. And I remember people covering this. This was a huge deal. I think right after Trump got elected around 2016, 2017, like I know some of you remember this too, but a lot of people are saying like, you shouldn't have these debates, right? This is why a lot of people don't like mainstream media because when you have somebody debating science versus opinion, you're giving them a level platform and it's not equal, okay? There's science and then there's opinion, okay? So to even give like a platform to someone who argues against the scientific evidence of climate change, hurts everything, right? To even say that there might, might even be just a little bit of truth to what they're saying, it hurts everything. Like what we need to do is say, okay, what you're saying is not based on science, you are not allowed to come back here until you have actual facts. And that's the thing that we're seeing with video game violence as well, all right? So when you have companies like Walmart, when you have places like ESPN being against violent video games when every single scientific study out there shows that there is no correlation between mass shootings and gun violence. When they do these things, it's hurting the cause because especially these places with such large influence, right? Everybody knows about these places. Um, it's trending on Twitter right now. This gets into the minds of people and they say, oh, maybe violent video games do lead to gun violence. And trust me, I'm not worried. I'm not worried in any way, shape, or form that the government is gonna take away our video games. The issue that I have is that it's this kind of like smoke and mirrors thing so we don't focus on the real issues, that we don't focus on the fact that we don't have common sense gun laws. Like you guys, oh my God. Even Lindsey Graham, all right, one of the most conservative mofos out there, even Lindsey Graham is for common sense gun laws, all right? Like, let that sink in for you real quick. Like, Mr. Like, right to bear arms is for common sense gun laws. Like, this is something that most people on both sides of the aisle agree with, but the NRA is just throwing money down people's throats so nothing ever changes. But like I said, like, for, the, for, for anybody to even give merit to the argument that video games lead to gun violence, like we're taking away from the, um, the conversations around common sense gun laws, we're taking away from the conversations about mental health care. If you want, watch my last video about how mental health 
is a factor in mass shootings. And then watch my last video I just did about Andrew Yang being one of the only c candidates regularly talking about mental health. All right, but anyways, please do not perpetuate the idea that things with no scientific evidence are causing the problems that we're facing here in the United States like mass shootings, all right? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this about people blaming video games for violence and mass shootings and things like that. Let me know down in the comments below, all right? And anyways, like I said, this video was probably demonetized by YouTube, so make sure you check out the description and the pinned comment for other ways to support your boy in this channel, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing, and everybody else supporting the channel by getting books and all that kind of good stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.